Well, God bless you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I know I'm sure it is well with you. And we give him and we give God all the glory, all the honor. And uh, I want to appreciate each and every one of you, all my viewers. I want to thank God for your husband, for your wife, and your children, and your beloved ones. We, we thank God for life. We thank God for health. We thank God for what he is. I don't know what you may be going through, of course, but we just need to appreciate him. So I welcome each and every one of you to, to, um, this evening, and we thank God and bless his name. Now, of course, as usual, I need to thank all my viewers, those of you that have time to call in. And through your emails and through your text messages, it has been fantastic. And uh, I need to say that some of you there have been part and parcel of this program. And you have made it very interactive and, above all, very enriching. And because you have added value by way of commentary, I mean, yeah, when you comment, by way of disagreeing as well. And uh, so, God, we bless you. I can never thank you enough. Those of you that keep sowing into this work. Because it's money we use to be on air. And God will bless you and protect you and keep you as you sow, as you are led. And uh, it is well, of course. Why do, we, and uh, please remember, to, I mean, today was fantastic. My goodness. We began an issue of prayer deliverance on incubus and um, Secubus, or what they call spiritual wife or husband issue. We began the prayer today. In the first month, I mean, and that will continue to June. So every Wednesday by 10 o'clock in the morning to 12 noon, every Wednesday we are going to deal on this issue. And I'm going to keep doing the teaching. So be part of that program. It will help you all through the month of June. So you choose any of the Wednesdays. However, for this Friday, we are going to do something special concerning on the same issue and the same matter. And at this Friday, our all night, last Friday, from 10, from 9 p.m. to 12, every, the last Friday, we are going to deal on the issue of, of uh, this spiritual husband or wife thing when you have intercourse in the dream. It is not, it has destroyed many people. It has have affected many lives. It has changed many destinies. And it's still hindering people. I'm going to do that. I will equally explain that more as I teach, or I mean today. Those of you experiencing one issue or the other, some women miscarriage issue is more a spiritual husband. Some people like a lady called from Luton, how any, before, any time he dreams, and somebody makes love to her in the dream. That's it. And this is a real. But there's a, an answer. Not every person understands or has the spiritual audacity to deal with it because it is a serious issue. And um, But thank God for today, people prayed. My goodness. People prayed. Even though standing, they didn't care. So for this Friday, make sure you join in the all night we are going to deal with the demons in charge. Night is for manipulation. Day is for manifestation. So make sure, and like I said, don't come in too dressed because I'm following this issue practically. You know, I'm not into the, uh, theological uh, teaching. Into I'm going to, we are going to anoint people and use the blood before we begin to pray. I'll say it again. We will anoint people and use the blood on ourselves before we begin to pray. Because so that it will go far. And that is for Friday. And make sure you are part of it. Of course. And indeed. Um, I think I've talked about the honor. So I make sure you don't miss out throughout June. Every Wednesday, 10 in the morning. Every Wednesday, we have deliverance. We call it prophetic pro prophetic deliverance, where you pray and where we use, like last week, we use garment to pray and testimonies are everywhere. But it's only to God be the glory and all glory shall be unto him. And I think that is that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Good, 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 yeah. For your Friday, make sure we are planning something special. And what is that something special? We must decree and declare. And above all, those of you that came in today, every dream that you have had, I mean, those of you that have had to this, any dream that you have, please write it down. And especially if you have experiences or any experience concerning spiritual attack to sex in the dream, we want to, you, you can text us, it will help you, it will help us to begin to decode and as it were, bring up some prayer points to deal with this issue that have been crippling, even to pastors, to men and women of God, even to them. It, because this demon does not respect anointing. But if you understand how they operate, you will know. And God bless you. I'm quiet. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so Hallelujah! Ah. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. come your way. I don't know who you are. There is a help that you need to overcome. I don't know. Is it sickness? I don't know. Is it something finance? I don't know. All I do know that the angels of God have been dispatched. They left heaven some few hours ago. They, in fact, they, I'm sure they must have appeared. They don't move by, by hour. The angels has appeared on your behalf. In Jesus' name. And there's just somebody there looking at me. You will never die before your time. I reject every evil report. It's not for you. You will never bury your children. You saw yourself conducting better of a small coffin. It's not for you. I can't, in fact, I cancel it. I reject it. I nullify it in the name of Jesus Christ. And, and I take authority right now. Over the spirit of death, over you. In fact, everybody stretch your hand. Anyone under the influence of my voice, I have decreed it in the name of Jesus that you will live and not die. I have said so. Whether you have covenant with death, I don't care. All I do know that I have come in a name, a name in the volume of books, a name above every other name. In the volume of books above every other book. That you, you, that you will live and not die. Wow. That is good. All right. And to make sure, like I said, be part of the Friday. That is Friday this week. is going to be awesome. And make sure you keep up on this program that I'm going to begin the teaching today by God's grace. Now, I, this is, some people have said, there is nothing like spiritual husband. That once you are born again, all things are passed away. Uh, behold, all things are new. That is the scripture. And I agree. But I am not talking of, I want to come down to you between one and one. That's why some of us do experience even Men of God have spread this issue more. They, and, and that is why the Bible warned, do not lay hands easily. There are women you will lay hands on. You will, your body will change. Unless you have the anointing. That's why some men of God end up on the laps of Delilah. They have laid hands. But there, there is the transfer of the spirit. Now, so, there is a spirit that afflicts or affects both men and women. It is called some call the one that attacked women, the spirit of man, they call it incubus. It is a Latin word, incubus, that means to lie on top. It is a demon. And many women go to this. Somebody can be sleeping with the wife. And get the attack. 
or the husband. So it doesn't mean. And you have the, the other one called Sekbos, the spirit of the woman, the demon that slays man. And these things run through. It's very effective and prevalent more now. But I now began to do this study. Now, I don't, the sister that called from Luton, if I'm right, last week, God will bless you because I was thinking about this um, before I, I, I come on air. I pray over a program. I ask for illumination. I ask the, the, the direction of the Holy Spirit. But I knew this this topic is important, and that is why the Satan is fighting it. But somehow, yesterday, I studied, two days ago, I studied, I was trying to get something practical. I don't, don't want to come on earth and tell you all blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I wanted, and that's why today I was encouraged with the crowd that came. People, of course, are serious, and they prayed with zeal, my goodness. I was touched. They prayed like never before. And why this thing affects, it doesn't have age. It doesn't know age. Spiritual husbands and spiritual wives. Or I don't even call them spiritual husbands or wives because you give them some, some uh, legitimacy. Uh, because the person may not agree. So I call them a uh, spiritual um, um, rapist. Those who rape, of course. That is the right word. In fact, I am the, I am the police officer in charge to arrest them. I'm telling you. In fact, I make myself the IG to, uh, to, uh, to arrest them. Because to rape naturally is a serious offense. Of course, according to the law in every land. To rape, even, even in the Bible, is serious. It is a serious offense. So, I don't call even, we won't even call them spiritual husband and wife again because I said and I said, wait a minute, why am I le legitimizing themselves, calling them husband and wife? Because husband and wife means you must agree. But many people who are sorted in the state of dream don't know. Some are even helpless. All they do know is that somebody comes in, a spirit comes in, and they have all the feeling of all the excitement, all the involvement. Everything that is involved with a man and a woman meeting, they get everything. And it is like real. It's not like eating in the dream. It's not like drinking in the dream. It's not like doing any other thing in the dream. And some people have said, it doesn't matter. Many women that do mis experience miscarriages, I'm not saying every woman, m most of them, is the issue of spiritual, uh, of this spiritual um, penetration, spiritual... Um, Sexual assault. So, but give it a give it a title. Either you call it the um, is this a, a spiritual what Andrew help me out now? Spiritual sexual attack. Uh, yeah, spiritual sexual attack. Yeah, attackers. Spiritual sexual attack. Yeah, spiritual sexual attack. Uh, because there's not the same that wife or husband. He gives some 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 credence of legitimacy. But why this wife or husband that? They, you are just helpless and hopeless. And many women are going through this. And many men are going through this. Even men of God. And some wake up and they are like, what is going on? As if it is normal. As if they met their wife or their husband. In fact, why they call their spiritual wife or husband is that everything comes in so natural and so relaxing. But in the research of the world, even though some people even experience it, when they are physically awake. And that is why those of you please text in, if you have an experience, it will help me to develop what I'm trying to do because I, it, is, it is an area that is not too popular. But I want to get into it and thank God for some revelations I got. Now, some people, when you have spiritual attack, I mean, some people, like I said, miscarriages. And some people are assaulted once they have that assault in their dream, they have a problem. They cannot even pray. So it, is, it has a way of draining you physically. And you are drained. You are physically drained. So you can't even read the Bible as you wake up. And you, and you seem 
dejected and somehow he said, what is going on? And the next day, it keep happening. And for some people, it equally makes them to have issues at home. They can never have peace at home, in their home, because there is something, there is somebody interfering spiritually. People may not see it. Or your mother, your father, your husband may not understand. I handled this issue in, in Nigeria some years ago. A woman says she has this experience that the husband was suspecting her. Why? Each time the husband gives her money, she will take it to the river and leave it there. But she used, she normally has this intercourse. Even when she's with the husband. But after a while, the, the husband said, each money I give you, why are you looking for money? And the man thought he had, she was probably keeping a man friend. But one day he confessed and said, look, every money you give to me, I end up in the river. And there's this man that comes around me. Thank God, and we began deliverance. It didn't take two days. She never experienced it again. Because, but there is a key. And that is why you must be a partaker of the prayer going on. Because there's something that I'm going to you Look, those who have the unction, have the, if you have the power, you have it. If you don't have, you don't have. Now, for some people, spiritual husband can involve the late marriage. Have you seen people who marry at 50, 60? But when they were young and these girls are, or these men are fantastic. In fact, a man even called me from, uh, from, from Austria. He said, anytime I want to settle down with a girl, something happens. We will quarrel. It is that issue of spiritual wife. So, so it's just somebody is fighting. And that's just some of you, you in, your, in your dream, you see men fighting over you. Some of you, you have all kinds of misfortune, like the girl that come up from Luton. He said, anytime something good will come, once he sleeps, once he has that intercourse with the spirit of and they will use that in the face of your husband or your wife. And you will be helpless and hopeless. Follow. So, what is the genesis of this thing? Because I said that I said, is it sin? Where is it in the Bible? How come is this? Then I began to get illumination. And listen to me and listen carefully. And because those of you who will call, please, if you have experience, you can share because I am want to write a book on this because I want people to be delivered you must be delivered. Now, so is it possible for the spiritual and the physical to have intercourse? Yes. How did I know? Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. <coughs> Genesis chapter 6, verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass uh -huh. when men began to multiply on the face of the earth. I hear you. And daughters were born unto them. Uh huh. That the sons of God uh -huh. saw the daughters of men, uh -huh. that they were fair. Uh -huh. And they took them wives of all uh -huh. which they chose. Uh -huh. Now, so, no, repeat it again. From verse 1. From verse 1. Yes. It said, and it came to pass, yes. when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, uh -huh. and daughters were born unto them, uh -huh. that the sons of God, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, saw the daughters of men, that they were fair. That they were fair. And they took unto them all that they chose. Uh -huh. Wives. Yeah. Now, there is something about when God created man originally from the one, man created man for, God created man for, for what? Relationship. He said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness. So God wants God, the, the spirit, God created man originally, foundationally, from the one, primarily, substantially, in for relationship. And God desired that relationship up to today. And that is why in the realm of the spirit, 
for a relationship to be strong, there must be so tied. Because this issue of spiritual work for husband and sex in the dream has to do with the soul. What is soul? Man is made of three parts. The spirit, the soul, and the body. But for a relationship to blossom, even between you and God, there must be a tie. Associations or relationship does not exist on poles. No, 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 no. There must be fusion. That's why God told Moses in Deuteronomy 10, 20. Yes. Deuteronomy 10, 20. Deuteronomy 10, 20. Thou, thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Him shall thou serve. Uh -huh. And to him shall thou cleave. Uh -huh. And swear by his name. And to him shall thou cleave. You must have to, to. God wants a relationship. So that they, they have been a relationship. God between the between the spirit and the physical. And God wants that relationship. And that is why there is something important that I'm, I'm go to Genesis chapter 2. If you read Genesis chapter 2, there's something Adam said about Eve. And Adam made a very powerful statement. Yeah, Genesis, begin from the third verse. I'm with you. I mean, uh, 23, please. I'm with you. Genesis chapter 2, verse 23. Yes. And Adam said, uh -huh. This is now bone of my bones, uh -huh. and flesh of my flesh. Uh -huh. She shall be called woman, uh -huh. because she was taken out of man. Go ahead. Therefore, Shall yeah. a man leave his father and mother uh -huh. and shall cleave unto his wife? And shall cleave unto, and they shall have their soul shall be bound as one. That is why we talk of soul ties. There is, soul ties are there. For every relationship to blossom, there must be soul tie. If there's no soul tie between you and your husband, it cannot work. You, there, there, there will never be harmonious relationship. The issue of soul tie is very important in what concerning the issue of spiritual wife or husband. Why we have that intercourse? Because there is issue of soul tie. And the soul tie could be positive or negative. And when it is negative, it could be deadly. And you begin to have experiences with demons. But I'm not beginning with that. Just follow me. I want to come from this perspective that why we need so time. When husband and wife are not joined as one, two hearts that beat as one, it is a popular song. If they don't join as one, they cannot be harmonious relationship. And that relationship is, as it were, reinforced, re-energized, substantiated, and um, as it were, um, um, promoted over time and with time through vow, through covenant, through intercourse. Because if you have marriage and without cohabiting in the sense that meeting, it's not marriage. It doesn't work. But it will reinforce the relationship. Follow where I'm taking you to. Go to, that's why Paul says something. Paul says that there is a mystery. Go to Ephesians, but no, before Ephesians, go to 1 Corinthians uh, 2, 16. And with you, 1 Corinthians 2, 16. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 16. Yes, sir. I read, it says, for, for who hath known the mind of the Lord, uh -huh. that he may instruct him, uh -huh. but we have the mind of Christ. You, if, you, if you want to have the mind of Christ, it means that we must come close to Christ. That's why we are as it were. Technically, you must have a soul relationship, a soulish understanding. Just as Moses, God told Moses, we must cleave so that we can work together. For you to have a relationship, go to 1 Corinthians 6, 17. Is it 6, 17? Yes, 6, 17. Yes. 
First Corinthians six seventeen. Yes. But he that is joined unto the Lord uh -huh. is one spirit. So that, that is why when there's a soul tie, it is one spirit. I am I am taking it to somewhere. I'm not what I said. That's why today we pray about soul tie. Because soul tie is the beginning of everything. So the relationship you keep before marriage can affect you after marriage. The relationship you keep after marriage can affect the marriage as well. Follow? But I, am, I want to take it systematically. What did Paul say? Paul said there is a union that is a mystery. Ephesians chapter 5. Read 30 and 32. Ephesians 5. 30 and 32. Ephesians 5. I'm with you. Ephesians 5, 30 and 32. Uh -huh. For we are members of his body. Uh -huh. Of his flesh uh -huh. and of his bones. Uh -huh. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother uh -huh. and shall be joined unto his wife, uh -huh. and they too shall be one flesh. So if the two becomes one flesh, it means that the soul have joined together, and you have a soul tie that is profitable. The soul tie may not be can be between man and man is possible, and, and that is why you can have. As it were, so tight that is man and man that could be corrupted. And they began to meet as husband and wife. And that's why you can have so tight between woman and woman that could be corrupted according to the Bible, which I believe on, which is not the foundation of marriage. The foundation of marriage is a so tight between man and woman. But the key thing is that, that the so tight. The relationship you keep, where you are from, the relationship, who you worship, who you obey, can create a problem of so time, which will manifest later in your life, and you don't see things come your way as it should be, because you have the interference or inter uh, of the spirit, where the spirit realm interferes in your affair, because there must be a relationship between you and darkness, or between you and light. That is the truth of the matter. And that is why there will be manifestation. But let me take you to one positive so time that is popular because of time. Because I want to stop here. Go to 1 Samuel 18, verse 1. Go to 1 Samuel 18, verse 1. I'm with you, sir. 1 Samuel 18, from verse 1. Yes. And it came to pass uh -huh. when, he's, when he had made an end of speaking unto Saul. Yes. That the soul of Jonathan uh -huh. was knit with the soul of David. Uh -huh. And Jonathan loved him uh -huh. as his own soul. Uh -huh. It means that Jonathan, even Jonathan sacrificed his, his throne for Joseph. And that is why when there's a soul tie, a husband can do anything for the wife. The wife can take all, all the stress in a relationship. If there's love, the, she can take everything. A man can take anything. One, there's a soul tie. But follow. And I want you to understand that. That's why there's a soul tie between Ruth and Naomi. If you go to Ruth, Ruth, Naomi and Ruth, they, there was mother-in-law and father-in-law. She did everything. She abandoned her country for the sake of her mother-in-law because there was heavy soul tie. Now, I want you to keep this in check. Then I will begin from there. To begin to excavate how soul ties can be formed from very ways. With the covenant we have with Jesus Christ, a soul tie is formed between us and Jesus Christ through the covenant of salvation. I will begin by his grace tomorrow. Let me stop so far. And uh, probably you said that to open the lines as usual and uh, get people involved in this teaching. Uh, but make sure, like I said, you must be, make sure from next week all through the month of June, you must find any time we are going to be for uh, a month plus, if I were you, because we are going to pray on this issue, you must be delivered. Many people that are not married, you must be married. Are you a man? Are you a woman? You must be what God says you will be. The demons have no right to corrupt your blessing and your destiny. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Or, oh, somebody's already what he said. This guy, I want to speak. Yes, I'm with you, sir. 
Amos. Hello, good evening, sir. How are you, sir, Amos? I'm fine, thank you. Please, I would like to pray on so tight. How? That uh, God should remove the bad ones. <coughs> yeah, no well. It's you to take a quality decision. Yes, I'm yeah. thinking it. Okay, fine. So, but recently, I, I noticed that there is something that is worrying me. Okay. You, yes. You, you are very... I need, yes? I need man of God like you to, to make a decree concerning it. Yeah, but before I make a decree, you must take a quality decision. Like yes. Amos is your name. Amos, yes. Amos 3, 3. He says two cannot agree. And say, I mean, Unless they agree. Aha! You are very smart, and I pray. My yes. Lord and my God, you know Amos. I don't know him. There is a quality decision this young man says he has taken. On, including me. Nobody can live this life without your help, without the help of the Holy Spirit, without the help of the Word of God, without the help of the angels, and without the help of other fellow human beings. My father, my all, you know the area in this strength. Let you be empowered in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your past life will never show forth in your present life. I use the blood of Jesus to separate you and the powers and the demons fighting your your future and destiny. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. It's with you, sir. I mean, it's well with you, sir. Uh, uh, Amos from Aberdeen. Okay, that Ras from Manchester. How are you, sir? Ras from I'm Manchester. fine, sir. Matozo. I'm with you, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. God bless you. God yeah. bless you, Matozo. Amen. Uh, what I'm about to say now is, is real. It happened to me. Aha! Um, it's about the spiritual husband and wife yes. uh, issue. Yes. Now, this happened in Ghana, and I uh, wasn't a very strong believer at the time. Okay. And uh, this co tenant lady, yes. uh, I saw her in a dream, and we had an issue in the dream. Hmm. And, but also, this is really shocking. I couldn't believe it when she came in physical to uh, tell me. In the Republic of Ireland, about 12 years after this thing happened, yeah. we happened to meet in the Republic of Ireland. Yeah. And she came to visit us in the house uh, with my wife, yeah. uh, with her husband. Yes. And then uh, during the conversation, she mentioned that uh, the husband is not good in bed, that he should ask me. I am very good in bed. Ah. It was very shocking because Openly. how would you tell your husband that he is not good in bed? And then telling the husband that I am good in bed when we have not had anything physically. But it, it happens, it so happened that when I had a dream, I told my wife that uh, I saw this in the dream and we had this issue in the dream. Yeah, so when she came, we met in Ireland and she repeated that physically. She came to us and visited us and said that I had an, she had an issue uh, with me and that I'm really good in bed. But the husband is not that good. My wife was taken aback. She was shocked. Yes. And I was even dumbfounded. Hmm. We all became dumbfounded. Nobody was able to say a word. So, uh -huh. And so when she left, I told my wife, do you remember I told you that I slept with this woman in, in a dream? She said, yes, I do remember. If you had not told me, I would have right away suspected that you had an affair with her some time ago. And so it's very shocking. So people must understand that these things are real. They are very real. I am somebody who is very skeptical. And uh, I want to see things before I believe them. But for some reason, God wanted to prove to me that, look, there are things happening in the spiritual realm that we have no idea about. Oh, exactly. And so this is to the listening. Listening is real. If anybody is having a problem with this issue, uh, they should try and work it out and try and seek God's uh, interference quickly. Other than that, it gets very badly. Thank you very much, Pastor. God bless you. You see how you see, you see how this guy has. You see, you see, I, you see, look, 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 look. That's why I said I keep praying for my viewers who call him. He did more teaching. This is practical. This is not mental teaching. This is not um, uh, all things are passed away. No, 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 no. I, I agree. All things are. Passed. This is man is saying what happened. How a lady confirmed. He's good. And he told the wife that he has dreamt that he was making love with the lady in the dream. 
Sir, you have added value to this program. And may God bless you. And it is well with you, sir. All right. Innocent from London. How are you, sir? Innocent. I'm, I'm fine, uh, Pastor. I'm, I'm so delighted. Uh, me and my family, we've been watching your program, how God has been using you to affect the life of uh, so many Christians, Thank you. Uh, irrespective of uh, their denomination. Um, I want to use this opportunity to say we are happy with what you're doing and we are enjoying and benefiting from your prayers. Amen. Uh, we have something which um, is of very important to the family. Okay. We have an application we okay. put across, okay. and we are hoping for an outcome. Okay. Even though it has been delayed, you know, yeah. beyond uh, the standard time. Yeah, it's all right because uh, of time. We it, have uh, faith in God. Yes. And it, uh, we are believing that uh, through prayers, uh, everything. Oh, oh, okay, in, okay, innocent. A favor is calling me now. A favor is on the line. And I use pray that let the favor of God and man just have your call. Everybody has his own area. Let the favor of God and man be with you. And let delay is not denier. Have that at the back of your mind. But let God do that which only Him can do and give you some peace and give you some rest. And give you some planning, of course. In Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. Thanks a lot for your kind and gracious words, sir. God bless you, innocent. Favor from Luton, how are you? Hello, good evening, Pastor. I'm with you, Favor from Luton. Yeah, I just want to say this um, topic is very crucial. It's, yes. it's very important. Thank yes. God for it. Amen. And uh, I want to say in the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 16, yes. said, So whom you. You yield yourself to. Yeah. Maybe if you yield yourself to a sin, it leads to death. Yeah. But if you yield it to God, it yeah. leads to righteousness. Yeah. You see? Yeah. So this issue, apart from the people that hear it, said it from their maybe parents or father or things like that. Yeah. But let's say for today, yeah. like a lot of people, maybe Christian, non-Christian, things they open themselves to, maybe to like pornography, yeah. lust. Yeah. Fornication, adultery, yeah, do yeah. bring all these spiritual band and wife to their life. Of course. And yeah. apart from that, like some people will be sharing funny video, maybe on WhatsApp or YouTube, sending yeah. it to people. I keep telling people that you need to be careful what you are allowing to your life because yeah. it's an opening. Exactly. I want again if the, if that if they get gain access into their life, it's going to be a strong hole. Yeah. And the last thing is like, in a, with being husband and wife, there must be a transparency. Exactly. It's always like sincerity is because of Christianity. Yeah. So you need to tell your husband or wife anything you've done in the past that can stand, you know, that can have a strong goal in your life. Yeah. So I think that's very important. God yeah. bless you, Pastor. Uh, uh, thanks a lot. You spoke fantastically. You preview, as it were, what we have in stock. But what I may not agree with you a bit is that I don't believe in this uh, telling your husband what you have done in the past or your wife. Or your wife will tell you I've got 20 boyfriends in the past. All those things, her past is her past. And you marry your wife based on your wife as of now. And you marry your husband, your husband cannot come and tell you every other thing we've done because the mind has a way of going back, as it were. So that is where. I, uh, the, the issue of spiritual husband and wife, you don't need to begin to tell your husband about what you have done in the past. I don't think so. But if you disagree, you, you have somebody can call him. All I know is that when you marry, you are marrying what you are seeing. And everybody has a past. And the past is gone. That's why we, when we are wedding, we will ask, do any person have anything to say about this marriage? And they say no. Then after that, they said from now. Am I right, Andrew? Am I right? I know you like that that part. You are not remembering your wedding vow. If there's anything you have to say after that, so your past is your past. After that, you remain silent. Is, and after that, you say since you have remained silent. In fact, Andrew, I, I, I told you he likes it now. So that so you say you should remain silent, and that is what I believe. And that is what I don't like. So some people who will tell the wife, and you could be used. Tomorrow, against you, mind of any person, both wife and 
and the husband is desperately wicked in moment of stress. And God bless. Gina from Italy. I'm sure we have some many texts. Gina from Italy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, Pastor. Good evening, sir. I'm with you, ma. Yeah, may God bless you and your family. Amen. Pastor, please, there is something I want to tell you because it's all these days. I do see myself in the dream. I do see myself in darkness. Hmm. So I want you to pray for me because I don't really know what that means. It is not an issue, just a one-off prayer. It is an issue of relationship. One. So you need to check yourself more. Two, it is an issue of what you watch. I'm not saying that you watch something. But if you continue to see yourself in darkness, it means that there is a legal right over you. That darkness is, has a right. Because if you continually sin and you don't like it, that is, I may be wrong, but let me still pray. I pray that first, John, I mean, John 1, 5, he said, And the light shineth in darkness, and darkness understandeth it not. So what you can do is to spend more time in studying the Bible and praying. It will help you, okay. but I will pray. Amen. Let the spirit, Amen. let the light of God come upon you, and Amen. you have that zeal to study the word of God, and have the word of God inside you. So darkness will never understand where you are, or what Amen. you do. In Jesus' Amen. most powerful name, I pray, ma. Amen. God bless you, ma. Okay. All right. David from London. How are you, sir? David. Good, good evening, sir. I'm with you, sir. Yeah, I want to appreciate what you are doing. Thank you, sir. God will bless you, sir. Yeah, amen. Oh. And I pray that whatever evil have been programming to the sun, the moon, and the stars, because of this secret you are, you are revealing, I, I command in the mighty name of Jesus to, that the sun, the moon, we, that should throw them back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very much. It is concerning this um, topic. Yes, sir. It has happened to me. Ha. And uh, I won't tell her a few words. It uh, is used to damage the destinies of individuals. At that time, when it was happening, until I prayed that we found a prayer mm. and everything ended. That, you know, at that time, I just noticed I was lacking money and everything. Mm. Until this thing went away, mm -hmm. that's why my life changed. Ah, can you so I just call him on the phone. They yes. have to come to the church yeah. on Wednesday okay. for prayers. Um, Not uh, just call you on the phone. It's, a, it's an important matter. Oh, that, that's very in fact, David. I, I don't know him. He's from London. He's, he's seen me, but but he says he's using himself. He said when he was experiencing it. You see, that's at times a lot to call it. We don't know them, of course. You should know me. I'm straightforward. I don't have time for this abracadabra. No, no, no. I don't have that time. But it's what he made a point. Violent prayer. Even when you don't have time, try and pray. And pray until you get deliverance. Not one of. Or go to a man of God who will, who will ask you to bring your rapper. A man of God told me how he asked a lady to lie down on the mat. And the row will go left seven times. Go right seven times, burn the mat, and she took 25,000 from, from her. <laughs> he said he was broke. And the lady, I'm telling you what is going on. But it is well, sir. And God bless you, David. So, Joyce from Belgium, even though we are giving priority to those who call because of the time and the money. Yes, Joy from London. How are you? I mean, from Belgium. How are you, ma? Good afternoon. Good evening, sir. My sister, I'm with you. I'm yes. yeah. yeah, I just want to appreciate you. Yeah. I want to appreciate you for a long time what you did for me. Mm. Good evening, sir. Yes. Good evening, Pastor Udo. Your phone is on. Your TV's phone is on. That's why you are getting echo and echo. Re echo, re echo. Okay. Yes, I'm with you. Um, you can hear me, yeah. I just want to tell you to appreciate you what you did for me a long time ago. You have said so before, yes. Yeah, uh, I just I just want to uh, have, uh, tell you that I lost my father. Just pray with me, please. Okay. So the, 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 you want to appreciate me for the old one. So the new one has gone. For the, so now, for the one you, you did for me. But I, I just want you to give me your account number so I can uh, send you something. Okay. 
but for you to even think of that, God will bless you. But yes. you lost your father. How old? Uh, seventy six, sir. Of seventy six, uh, don't feel you know. Don't feel too bad about it. Your father have yes, uh, is that is that It's not how long we live on this earth, though. It's where yes. your father is going is key. Where me and you are going is key. Yes. His own now is finished. She can't. He can't change it. So, but the God that kept your father, the same God, he will keep you. He will comfort you. He will console you. He will keep your brothers. He will have wonderful burial. No confusion Amen. in your family, Amen. no untimely Amen. death. Let God Amen. keep you and prosper you. In Amen. Jesus' most powerful name, I pray. Amen. Out of the account, if you go to our website, you will get the account. I don't have it up here. Okay. But thank you a lot. <coughs> Even that thought of sowing at all, God will bless Amen. you. All right? Amen. We have some text messages. Yes, so text. many, so many, so many. But yeah, please, some. You yes. say, Pastor, please pray for me, those owing me money. Ah, to pay me in Jesus' name. I'm talking about yes. spiritual. Okay. Let us owe you money. And if you are owing to, you will pay. Including me, including you. Any person owe you, we will pay our debtors. And those owing us, I mean, we will, uh, I mean, yes, we, uh, they will equally pay us. Favor of God <laughs> and man in Jesus' name. Everybody has his own headache. This man said, look, spiritual husband or wife, I know, but somebody is owing me. He will pay you in Jesus' name. I'm with you, sir. And then I want to say, say hello, Pastor. Good evening. Yep. God bless you. Please pray for me. I'm very sick and low in spirit. Oh, no, you can't. Okay. You know, it's the sickness that causes the lowness in the spirit. It is natural if you are sick. But my father, affliction is not from God. And we're praying for every medication that you will take if it work for you. We're asking for God intervention in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let God have mercy in any way too. We have come short of his glory. Let God hear your cry and fight your battle. There's somebody looking at me. God has remembered you. And you will laugh last over that matter. Fear not. God has fought your battle. In Jesus' name. You are looking at me. You're there. You, there's somebody going through divorce. A serious one. Your, your hands are clean in that matter. So God is going to favor you. Your hands are clean over that matter, and God is going to favor you. And what? And then I want to say, yeah. he say, Pastor, God bless you. Yeah. Please pray for my daughter and her husband and her children. Any power that you want to initiate them into witchcraft or marine world should catch fire and roast to ashes. I agree with you. Let them catch fire. Any initiation to initiate our children, to initiate your husband, to initiate your wife by friends, my Lord and my God. In the name of Allah, it will fail. And that's why you, in Jesus' name, that's why you have to be careful to the churches that you send your children. Some of these churches you put, all these big churches that you're hearing, if you see what the youths are doing, they are not doing it in the world. They, they are using church as a camouflage. I'm telling you. And that is because we don't care as pastors. All we care is the offering and the tithe. We don't care about the soul involved. All we care is the offering and tithe, which is good, of course. I need it. But the, the basic thing we answer call is for the soul of people, not for the offering. Let God keep you. Let God prosper you. Let God fight your battle in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't care your religion. All I know is that Jesus is real. The, the same Jesus that touched me, according to Quran, he's coming back again. He will touch you, according to the Bible as well, the books of all books. He will touch you, the way he touched me. He will touch your husband and your children. And the same God will uphold you the way he's upholding me and my family and my members. In Jesus' most powerful name I pray, and God bless you, and bye-bye. How he saved me, how he raised me.